Hello and welcome back for another Phantom Prize prediction update. And in this video, I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the Phantom chart. And before I do so, show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the channel membership. And at the time of this recording, we are holding below the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart, which is now acting as resistance. Phantom has also managed to get into the minimum retracement area that I gave you yesterday in what could be this corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 where I say to you after seeing our massive breakdown giving us a low at around the 0.28 dollar mark we saw that a recovery to the upside giving us a peak at around the 0.3 dollar mark in what I've been terming as that first wave to the upside and after seeing that high, we saw a bit of a, a pullback to the lower side in what I've been terming as the formation of this wave too. And using the Fibonacci's, connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one, I gave you a minimum retracement area and an area that we need to continue holding so that we can still say that we are still in the formation of this wave two between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.78 which is an area that lies between the $0.295 dollar mark and the $0.2864 dollar mark, which is the area highlighted on the charts using this red target area. And in case we continue holding within this target area and then at some point we see a reaction to the upper side, then there are high chances that Phantom could be starting an impulse in the formation of that wave 3 in a move that should continue gearing up and manage to break above significant areas of resistances and also put in, uh, put in place a high for that wave 3 to the upper side before we can expect a wave 4 then continue gearing up in the formation of that wave 5. But in case further breakdown continues and maybe at some point we break out of this red target area to the lower side and see a close below this target area then that would be suggesting further breakdown in a move that could give us a reset of the low that we made at around the $0.28 mark. And in case such a move plays out, then there are chances that at around the $0.28 mark we might find support. And if that move plays out, that would be completing the formation of a double bottom where we can have these as the first bottom right here. So we can have these as the first bottom, then the neckline. Then in case we continue heading further down and find support at around the $0.28 mark, we can print a double bottom, which is a chart pattern that breaks to the upper side, having the minimum target areas being given by the height between the neckline and the bottoms. And once that plays out, we can be able to get that height and then place it above the neckline to give us a minimum target area to the upside at around the $0.34 mark. That is the other possible scenario that we can expect here on the Phantom chart. Phantom has also continued to obey the A 12 structures. And if I zoom out here on the 4 hour chart to give you my analysis on the A 12 structures, I've been saying to you in my previous videos that Phantom, after giving us the December lows, we saw a 5 wave move to the upside, giving us a high at around the $0.67 mark in a move that completed the formation of these larger a 12 count 1. Then we started a corrective structure in the formation of these larger a 12 count 2, where we have been breaking down to the lower side in that move that has now given us a low at around the $0.28 mark. And having seen that low at around the $0.28 mark, and also fully maximizing my minimum target area highlighted on the charts, using this yellow target area. I now believe that Phantom has completed the formation of this wave 2 and also done the minimum that we expect a wave 2 to the lower side to do. And there are chances that very soon we are going to see a reversal within this yellow target area and start an impulse in the formation of this wave 3. And because a wave 3 is an impulsive wave, I'm tracking to see whether we are going to see a 5 wave move to the upside to confirm to us that we have seen the low for this wave 2 and that impulse in the formation of that wave 3 has started 
and that is what i'm expecting here on the phantom chart so continue watching my target area in the formation of that wave two because as long as you continue holding within it then we can expect another bounce in the formation of that wave three and in case further breakdown continues watch out for support at around the 0.28 dollar mark and also the print of a double bottom at around the 0.28 dollar mark and also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI, we are trading at around the 37 mark. Also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bearish cross. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.